outdoor area is also about learning for these kids. Um, like I mentioned, you know, we just never quit thinking about the learning for these students here at Kendall DePoli Middle School. These two dirt areas are, I know this sounds strange, but those are learning areas, teaching areas. Um, we've left that to, to uh, Juliana and her staff. They're already coming up with some ideas. Um, what they want to do with those particular areas, you know, you may see some shed, sunshade structures in the future. I'm, I'm hearing talks of a garden area, um, whatever that their science and their, their curriculum lends to. So we're leaving that them the, the little bit of flexibility to do what they want there. This outdoor amphitheater, again, these can be for, you know, bringing classrooms, bringing speakers here. The kids can have events out here. Just, you know, it's. As I walk through this area, almost every group I hear the word campus, and it's true. This this is kind of the area that you, it feels like a campus, and I think that talks about the respect that we're giving these these students. So kind of a purplish color. Yeah. This whole area, this whole school is irrigated with uh, reclaimed water, so that's another feature of the of the green aspect of it. Uh, we have, in this area, we have, um, well, Juliana just changed her mind recently. I think foreign language got moved. Okay, that's what's happening right now. But um, we have special ed in this side. We have a technology lab that I'm so excited to show you. Um, we have, okay, Juliana, what else are you putting in here? You changed your mind. RTI is over there. Yes, oh, home, e right. yeah. home, home, at, home and careers. Home and careers. I know it by home ec, home and careers. <laughs> um, credit recovery. I mean, there's a lot of, this has a lot of flexibility. Probably the part that's most specially designed is for the special ed areas. Um, this right here, being outside the art, there's the art areas in here. This is the art plaza, what we call. Oh, nice. I expect paint to be splattered on this at some point, but we encourage that. I, so this will be. Oh. <laughs> this is in all of our middle schools right now. Even our older middle schools, we've taken old shop areas and gutted them and, and installed these in all of our middle schools. What this is all about is project-based learning. So if a student is said, okay, their teachers assigns them the widget, okay, they need to design the widget on the computer, develop a marketing plan on the computer, maybe they're going to write a story about it on the computer, they're going to do the math on the computer. Everything about that widget, which is their project, is going to be done on this computer. This is so exciting for the students. They love this. We. Um, the, the, the response we've had in the middle schools is incredible. I was, somebody was here on our tour the other day and said they were at a middle school and it was just this beehive of activity. So this is very exciting for our students, like I said, and this is nice because this is in all of our middle schools here at Washoe County School District. And again, like I said, is this beautiful? It is. Or what? For a science room, to be able to see those weather patterns, weather patterns <laughs> coming over the mountains, to see the ecosystems here in the valley, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has been proven that this amount of light, these windows encourage learning with our students. Some people ask, is it going to be distracting? No, it's not. It's, it's proven that they, they thrive with this kind of light to be able to see what's happening outside. So again, this is, and you'll see there's, this is sixth grade, so there are fewer sinks, there's not the gas. Okay, now sixth grade goes to a two-team situation. So they have two teachers, have a math science, teacher and a social studies and English teacher. What's neat about that is so if you're in elementary, you have one teacher. Sixth grade, you have two teachers. Seventh and eighth grade, you'll have four teachers. And then in high school, you have five or more. So it's a very nice transition for our students to learn to have many bosses as they get to high school. That's what I'd like to point out here is the exposed, all the exposed mechanical system. You can see how the piping is labeled. So again, that, that can intrigue those students. They're going to see the, the TV screen. They're going to see their teachers talking about it. They're going to look up. They're going to see the structure of the building and the mechanical system in the building. Again, the building is a teaching tool for these kids. Each one of the rooms is designed a little bit differently based on the requirement of band, strings, or choir. And you'll notice as we walk by the other, they're maybe a little bit higher, a little bit shorter. The acoustical panels are configured a little bit different. It's located near the music where they can actually take their instruments up and around this ramp and get onto the stage. So they've made it very accessible for the students. So you can roll, the, pi you can roll the piano up. All the piano up. There's a faculty lounge. <laughs> This is our dining area. This is our multi-purpose room. We have a faculty lounge in the back there. Um, we have a community room back in the corner here I'm, I'm going to show you. So what's, what's exciting about this area was this is one of the big things that came out of the uh, design charrette, is that all of the public areas are toward the front of the building. 
And this is even designed in such a way that there's a back door here where if the public wanted to come in and use these spaces, we could lock off the academic areas and make this available to the community. So you have very, exterior access right here. Yes, and I'll show you that. And very accessible to the community. So that was a big part of the design trend. They wanted access because it is, it's their building. So we have, again, the skylights in here. Um, we have this outdoor area where these doors can be opened up if we want to extend the dining or area for production or they want to have something, we've made it accessible to that outdoor courtyard. So again, you can see how we have the, the PTA kitchen and the PTA and all of this you is accessible. You need to change your location yeah, sure. <laughs> That's exactly what Trustee Clark said when she saw this room. I think she's got something in mind. Okay, the last place we're going to hit is the library. Uh, the library was probably your favorite place, and it is supposed to be the heart of the school. And if you look at the floor plan, this truly is the heart of this school. Um, it is both a library and a media center. You can tell by the outlets on the floor. So it'll have a, you know, an area of computers. The students can do research as well as, you know, old hard copy, old-fashioned hard copy. We still like that. Um, again, and we have access to our amphitheater area right here. Um, so this is very nice access for our, you know, Anything that the school chooses to do, we've got a wonderful access and beautiful view here in the library. So I guess the books show up next week is what I'm hearing. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that'll be exciting. I appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.